Welcome to my classroom tour. I'm Kristen and welcome to the gold project if you are new here welcome we hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos I post videos at least three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday and on this channel we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together so I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission in case you didn't know I am a seventh grade keyboarding teacher and for the first time in my teaching career which I think I'm on year 13 I'm losing count I actually spent money on my classroom decorations I did a video and shared that last week if you've not seen my classroom decor haul video I will put that in a card above where I shared all the new things links and everything so today you're going to be seeing all of that in my classroom so i decided to go with the disney theme because i love disney you guys know that and i decided to make my room a place that i wanted to be a place that i loved full of things that i really like not things that i was trying to get rid of out of my house which is what i've been doing every year except for now so i've spent time on my bulletin boards and really organizing my classroom i'm not going to be able to share everything with you because it is a school district and i want to keep that information private but the things and the items that are mine i will definitely share that so now we're going to get to my classroom tour so this is what you see when you step into my classroom and I do share a classroom with another teacher. So there are two classes that run in this one lab. We make it work. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but it does work for both of us. So there's roughly, I wanna say 50 computers in this room and there are times that every single computer is utilized. And this is the front of the room. And if you see my two amazing bulletin boards, I'm super excited about my bulletin boards that I've worked very, very hard on. So I'm gonna share each one of those with you. This is the first bulletin board that you see when you come into my room. And sorry about the glare, the lights, it doesn't matter which way I turn, it's gonna glare on some kind of letters because I laminated them. One thing you got to do is laminate everything so you can reuse it. So I just love the movie up. I love the house concept with the balloons. So I incorporated it into keyboarding. So it says, where will keyboarding take you? The letters came from the Target dollar spot. You guys, I was so excited when I went to Target and they had the teacher letters in several different colors. So the other bulletin board I will share with you has the same style different colors and then i got a white set to keep so the house was hand drawn by me what i did was i found a picture of the up house and i blew it up and i just traced it and you guys it was not easy <laughs> especially since my eyes aren't fantastic so the balloons i plan on adding to the balloons the balloons have different careers on them business salesman engineering teaching human resources receptionist food service pharmacist youtube entrepreneur so i plan on adding a lot more balloons to the outside of that little cluster there so if you have a profession that you would think that I need to include up there, please leave it in that comments below and I will definitely add a balloon. I've got a little template that I've used, cut it out, scrapbook paper, all that. So I love how this turned out. And I love how this one turned out as well. I knew I wanted everything to be Disney themed and I knew I wanted the castle on a bulletin board. So I blew up an image I traced the castle and cut it out. The cutting it out was not easy. So the castle I did in May, I did the black on the bulletin board. I put the castle in the middle and then I just waited. I had no idea what I was gonna do with this board. 
and it just popped into my head. I'm like, I'm going to do Disney quotes. I'm going to do all of my favorite Disney quotes. I'm going to put different colored scrapbook paper behind it and feature the character that says the quote. Then the Disney wisdom at the top, the letters came from the Target dollar spot. They had the a multicolored pack, so I bought the multicolored pack and I think it matches fantastic. So let me go over and share with you what all of the quotes are up here. So all I did was I went to PowerPoint and I typed up the quotes, print them out, and that was it. I found the images on the internet, made sure the image was the right size and printed them individually. So it did take some time to find all this and make sure they were right. It says, if you don't think, then you shouldn't talk the March hair. Just keep swimming, Dory. And this card is in the way, so excuse it. Remember who you are, Mufasa. The things that make me different are the things that make me me, Piglet. A little consideration, a little thought for others makes all the difference, Eeyore. You're braver than you believe and stronger than you seem and smarter than you think, Winnie the Pooh. All it takes is faith and trust, Peter Pan. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them, Walt Disney. Venture outside your comfort zone. The rewards are worth it, Rapunzel. Then over here, and y'all could not, I thought this was a cute picture to use for Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow because it is colorful. It's not the actual uh, image from the movie. So I, it, it was perfect, the size and everything. So I, it worked out. The problem is not the problem. The problem is your attitude about the problem, Jack Sparrow. Don't just fly sore, Dumbo. Ohana means family. Family means no one gets left behind. And all of these, if you noticed, are related to school and classroom, I feel like. Sometimes the right path is not the easiest one. Grandmother Willow from Pocahontas. Happiness is the richest thing we will ever own. Donald Duck. Oh yes, the past can hurt, but the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it. Rafiki, the Lion King. Even miracles take a little time. Fairy Godmother. And always let your conscience be your guide, the Blue Fairy. And yes, I know that is Jiminy Cricket, but to me, Jiminy Cricket goes with that quote, not the Blue Fairy, even though I think she said it first. <laughs> throw that in there. So you guys, I absolutely love the bulletin boards this year and I hope you guys do too. Okay, I'm going to share a new thing that I've done this year. This is the way that the kids come in my classroom and I was not using my Ikea Rascog cart at home. So I actually brought it up here and I'm going to use it as a little restroom sign out station. We're going to try it like that. The little envelope in the center here is keyboard covers. I just have them sitting there. Plan on keeping them there at the end of every day. They're little skins that go on the top of their keyboards. And then down there is a hole punch in case they need it. So we've got Germex and lotion sitting here. And then I have my restroom form here, which is going to be one of the items in my shop. So as you see, I use what I'm going to be selling. So, and then I've got some pencils and pens here. So when they need to use the restroom, they can grab the clipboard. I need to order another clipboard because I need it for another sign out sheet and grab a pencil and be good to go. And then when they come back in, they have to stop here first. Say hi to Kate. Hello, Kate. There's Kate. Both of my kids are here. There's Derek. They've gotten to come to school with me this week since it is teacher work week. So this is my desk area and my room buddies desk area. Derek's sitting at her desk and then my desk is on the left. So this is a start, you guys. This is not how I plan on leaving everything. Every year I plan on adding to my room decoration. So this is just the base, the start. And then I'm gonna continuously add stuff to it. I wanted to share this area with you first. This is something else that's new. Basically we moved our entire room around in May so everything is kind of freshly moved around and it makes me feel so much better.
This is the little station that we put together for the kids to be able to use things. I've got stacks of papers that are going to be lessons for week one and week two. We've got colored pencils up there in the pink boxes for the kids to be able to use. I always have line paper and printer paper up there for them to get to. It's a nice amount of space here that it's away from everybody. It's not in anybody's way. And I've got a Pampered Chef. I think they call it the turnabout or something like that. It spins. It's got pencils and rulers and all sorts of things that the kids might need. So this is basically, besides my papers, an area that we're using for things that our students might need. Now I am going to share this little area. So this is like a little nook. And I finally came up with a way to use this little nook. And I'm gonna share with you everything. So you recognize this print, I am sure, from my house. It says, be the best version of yourself. Came from pen and paint. Used to be in my office, but when I ordered the prints from the painted mouse, I decided to bring it up here to use in my classroom. Then here is my little memo board that I have had, oh, probably 11, 12, 13 years. Probably the entire time I have taught, I've had this memo board. And I want to eventually replace it with something else, but I'm not going to be doing that this year. Made an order through Walmart for a bunch of family pictures. That's something I do every single year. Every year I will take down all of my family photos and put current ones up. So that will fill that memo board there. This is a wall that I'm extremely proud of. I wanted to be able to display all of my kids' artwork. But I didn't know exactly where to put it, what to do. And then we moved our desks around and I had this wall and I didn't know what to do with it. So I've made it my kids' artwork wall. So as they give me other things, I will just add it around these two things over here on the left. And this is my little paper station, I guess we're going to call it. And excuse the air conditioner if you can hear it. I have all of my papers over here. They're no longer on my desk cluttering things up. I have one more of these that at the moment you've probably already seen my teacher supply haul. If you have not, I'll put that in a card above. I just, when I'm filming this, have not brought the other stair light three drawer organizer in here. So there will be three more of these on top of this, but I don't have that at the moment, so they're not there. So this is, let me zoom in. On the top I have the Erin Condren little file basket that came with a set of four items and you'll see the other ones. Um, I think it's called the desk organizer system. There's four pieces that come with it. I will put that in the description below. You'll see the other pieces in a minute. So these are the little labels that I made for each one. It says scrapbook paper, extra copies, extra copies, and I'll share with you the little labels that are going to go on the other three drawers when I get those in here. So that holds scrapbook page paper, extra copies for me, and extra copies of school-wide documents. Then I've got this stuff laying here because when I bring that other organizer in here, that's going on top of this, and then these things will go in there. And what is in the little tray right there is just some papers that I need to go through and put somewhere organized. Here is a variety of things. And look at my little Zoom Zooms. I brought my Zoom Zooms from home. Oh, and many y'all are falling over. What is up with that? Then I have a little Mickey figurine at the back. So these are different little passes and things that I have in each one of these. This is also a Sterilite organizer. I will link it if I can find it below. I've had this for years. So I just put counselor pass, nurse pass, detention, slips, stickers, and bandages. I like to keep extra bandages. Then these are all of my current paperwork file folders on, I think I got this from Walmart, little file organizer. I think that came from Walmart. And that is my little paper station. And that is what I am calling my paper station. So everything is organized. It looks good. I have all the papers in one spot now. And that feels good because they were all over the place and not really what I would consider organized. Now we're to my wall area behind my desk. And you can see Derek over there to the little right. 
Now, let me talk about something, because I know you're gonna ask, and I don't know what to tell you. The little squares, the red one there, there's a green one here, they're like all over my room. There's a blue one there, you guys. I have no idea why they're there. They are very distracting to me. I don't know what to do with them. And it does bother me that that one's just up there hanging out, but I don't really know what to do. This one over here behind that sign. I mean, they're all bothering me, but I don't know what to do with them. So I'm just making it work for the time being until I know what to do. So I like the way I have all of this set up. And then like I said, I will add to this over here. So this is just a starting point for my classroom. Most of this was in my classroom decor haul. So if you've not seen that video, I will link it above. So let's start over here to the left. You've probably seen this in my office tour video. If you've not, I will link that in a card above as well. I had originally just ordered one of these banners and then they are the wisdom banners from Shop Disney. They kept sending me ones that were messed up. The stitching was wrong, so I ended up with like three or four of them. So they don't all look perfect, but I don't really care. So I brought one of them up here to use. The Mickey Mouse sign, which they actually call a wooden poster and the Cinderella, A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. Those both came from Hallmark. And those, I definitely plan on adding more of those because Hot Topic sells those, fun.com. Many different places sell those, so I just need to add to that collection. Now, up here at the top, this is probably one of my favorite things in this room. This Magic Kingdom vintage poster. It's an 18 by 24 size. I got it from Main Street Attractions on Etsy. This is a sign that if you've been part of this community for a while, you've probably seen this. This used to be in my office at home. We can do hard things from Barn Owl Primitives. I was not using it in my office anymore, so I brought it up here. This is my little Romero Brito Dumbo. It's so cute. And look, you can't even tell his ears broke. So I absolutely love him. I think he looks great up there. The second area, and you guys, my bookcase is not finished because if you notice, I've got a stack of frames right there that I'm going to have to add pictures to that aren't in yet. So it kind of still looks bare, but I'm slowly adding things to it. And I don't think I've ever had that many binders, you guys. <laughs> I've got so many binders. So we'll get down to that in just a second. So this is the large 10 inch Mickey from Target. It is a Target exclusive. I love how he looks. This is actually a frame that I got from Disney World when my husband and I went on our honeymoon. So I was like, why do I not take that to my classroom? That is the Mickey print from the Painted Mouse. If you've not checked out the Painted Mouse, definitely do that. I'm going to also buy the one that's shaped like that, but it's in the up theme. Down here is my Erin Condren Hourglass. This is an up print that I got from VeryJane.com several years ago. You probably recognize it from my office. It was in my office. And then those are the frames that I'll be using for my pictures. Then down here is all my PD folders, my curriculum binders, um, subfolder information, all of the stuff that pertains to school. The box there is for the nurses items, cough drops, bandages, all that. Down there is a pile of stuff that I still need to go through. So it's just kind of hanging out down there and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put on that bottom shelf because I actually don't need it right now. And that is my back wall area. It's a work in progress, but I'm really excited with how it is starting to look. Last but not least is my desk. Now my desk itself, I may actually plan on maybe getting some contact paper or something like that to really dress up the desk. 
that might be something that I do next year, not this year, because I've kind of spent my budget for my classroom this year. But it's definitely something that I want to do in the future just to brighten up this area. So I've got my Erin Condren desk calendar, which I love. I haven't started writing on it yet. Haven't had time to do that yet. And then my waters, y'all know I always have waters on my desk. Those are two more of the organizers that came from the Erin Condren desk organizer set. I've got tardy slips, detention slips. There are my pins. I forgot, I could not find those. I forgot I put those in here. Some Kleenex and then over here I have scissors and pins and pencils and all of that. Then this is my Scotch Elephant Tape dispenser that I splurged on last year and I'm going to tell you I don't regret the purchase. I love this thing. So if they had a stapler that matched this, I would so get that. I've just got some lotion here. Then Mary Poppins Returns Funko and my Romero Brito Mickey Mouse figurine. So they're just adding a little bit of personality to my desk. And then let me share these things with you here. So these are the labels that go on my other three drawer organizer from Stairlight. So I'm gonna have sheet protectors in one laminating pouches in the second, and then the third is going to be lined paper, so notebook paper. So those are sitting up here until I bring those. And then right here, this I think was Kate's. It is a Thai Beanie Baby, and she kept leaving it at my car, and I finally brought it up here, so now he's just my room buddy. Our school district gives us money every year, and every year, except for this year, because I didn't really have anything big I wanted, I will use some of the money, it's $100, I'll use a nice portion to buy something big for my classroom. Well, one year I purchased this pencil sharpener, and I have it on my desk because it's just for me. I don't let my students use it because I don't want them to cram things in it and ruin it. So I have a different one that they use. But that is my desk area and this is my view from my desk from 7 30 in the morning till 3 30 in the afternoon and as you see there's two more spots over here squares red and yellow once again i don't know what they're for but i would love to decorate that area eventually so that is my classroom tour So that is my 2019-2020 classroom tour. I hope you've enjoyed how I have decorated my classroom Disney themed. So anything that is available, I will leave links in the description below. Some of them might be affiliate links, which means if you click a link and make a purchase, make, I make a small commission off the sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. The common question is going to be, what is your opinion of my classroom decorations? I would love to hear all of your opinions and your thoughts in the comments below. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye, bye you guys.